can see over here, um, the minimum value for fiber content is 7 grams as well, and so is the uh, lower quartile for fiber content 7 grams. This is because the lower quartile consists of the lower 25% uh, of the data, and 7 grams is 30% of the data, so it is both the minimum value and the lower quartile value. Okay. E says to construct a comparative box plot and use it to comment on the differences and similarities in the fiber and sugar distributions. So to draw a comparative box plot, you draw your x-axis thing. And then here so you can have um, fiber content. on the top and sugar content is the lower. Okay. And then this is grams. Oh oops. Label the x axis is x axis is grams per serving. Okay, could go by twos, two, four, six, fourteen, oh, okay, so we will do fiber content first. First, you draw your box for from Q1 to Q3, and Q1 is 7, so that's about here, and up here is that. To Q3, which is 12, which is about right here, and then connect, you get a, bo a rectangular box like, and the median is at 8. So you draw a line where your median is, and 7 is your minimum value, so uh, you do not have a whisker going to 7 because your Q1 is already at 7, but you have a whisker going at to 14 because that is your maximum value, and that is the box plot for fiber content. Sugar content, Q1 is 6, Q3 is 13, that's about here. Draw that box. Okay, and then your median is at 10, that's about there. Minimum value is at 0, which is here. Label that 0, extends from there. And the maximum value is at no, oops, 19. And that is a box plot which compares the similarities and differences between the fiber content and sugar content of cereals.